Well, social work as a profession is really about advocating for social justice. Uh, it's about access, access to things like housing, to food, to uh, opportunities, to education, to justice. It can be uh, about working with people to ensure that they're able to exercise their self-determination. I think anybody who has an interest in people, uh, who is interested in notions of social justice, uh, who's able to uh, reflect, I guess, reflect about themselves, about their own identity, about their own circumstances, their own background, their own culture, and having an interest in working with people who may not share that identity or background or culture or circumstance? I think the degree definitely is. I think, um, as we've talked about, it's so broad and so diverse and you learn so much about yourself and about the world and about the different kind of structural oppressions that are on people. And that's good for anybody to learn, I think, and, and helps people um, yeah, really conduct themselves as, as good citizens. Um, and I think in terms of social work practice, if you've, if you've got a passion for social justice and like, yeah, good problem solving skills and things like that, then, then a career in social work is a really good option. The important thing about the social work degree is that it starts with, it starts with you. Yes. Who are you? We spend a lot of time in the first year really exploring that. Um, um, who are you? What is your background? What is your culture? What's your identity? How does that contribute to, uh, uh, to what you bring to the work? Um, and then, of course, as a sociologist, I have to say, we, we, uh, we, we cover theories about society and, and social change. Um, psychology and and, uh, uh, and and psychological development across people's lifespan and then of course skills skills with working with people um, uh, understanding how your own identity your own background uh, is different from you know to, to, to other people that you might be working with in a way where like everything we learn it just adds a sense of spice so just adding the spices of social work and it covers literally like from bicultural, like bicultural practice to, you know, research, as Peter said, understanding policy making, like that's really important. And, you know, as a social worker, you want to know the history of New Zealand in order to make a change, right? A number of ways that it does that. I think that one of the things that it does is it is, is it prepares people to be actual, to be active citizens and to engage in citizenship in, 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 in sort of positive and active ways. Over the course of the degree, students have two different practicum placement experiences. So a total of 120 days in the field, in agencies, working with other social workers, uh, doing the work, getting to, getting to a sense of, of what social work actually is on the ground. And one of the things that, that is a feature of, of, of the program is because the, because the social work degree has such a good reputation in the field, uh, it's, it's not uncommon that students finish their practicum with a job offer. What I love about this degree is that you walk out with your ticket. You know, you, you are a qualified social worker and this program specifically is so significant for setting people up um, for success as a, as a career social worker. Um, the foundation of, um, yeah, really bicultural practice and working with tangata whenua and, and what does it mean to be upholding te tiriti o waitangi in your profession that is really important. And then all the theories and models that you learn about, the way practicum is run, it's, yeah, it, it sets you up for so much success, this program. So since graduating, I've had a number of different social work roles um, in both community and in a health service. And right now I'm working um, in a kaupapa Māori organisation called Ete Pūrea, um, and we work with young parents and sort of wraparound support, providing providing a lot of support in total for, for young mums, and it's really fun. One of the features of social work, the profession in, in Aotearoa, is that it's incredibly diverse. Uh, you can work in, in what most people understand of social work in New Zealand, is working with children and working with families. Um, but in fact, uh, um, um, as significant as that work is, it's just a small part of what social work can be. 
uh, uh, the health sector is a huge employer of social workers and that can be anything from uh, working in primary health in, in GP's clinics uh, right up through hospital social work, uh, working with, with people who have had uh, serious diagnoses or chronic illnesses, uh, working with uh, end of life, uh, working with uh, people who uh, and families uh, who have been impacted by Alzheimer's and dementia, um, um, mental health, whether that's in hospital or, or in the community. Uh, Lasena is, is about to go into her placement in corrections, and that's a, a, a big area for social work, working with, uh, uh, with people and their families, but working with people who are in prison, who are just exiting prison, and, uh, and their families in, in, in terms of making good decisions about their, about their lives and about their futures. Uh, and then you've got this whole area of community development and, and community work, of working with communities to, uh, to assert their self-determination and to, and to work for positive change. I guess the first one is do it, you know. You can learn as you go and explore further your passions in supporting people um, as a social worker. Mainly the first thing I would say is that it all starts with you and honestly if you want to make a change you're going to have to make a change with yourself first uh, there's no point of helping another person if you can't help yourself and that's really important um, um, coming into a social work degree because we're all about helping and you know advocating for other people.